Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to wish all of you happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to make pepper pot in a crock pot or a slow cooker. But before we jump into the recipe, please don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so let's take a quick look at the ingredients. I have very few limited ingredients here because this will be a simple version of pepper pot. Here I have my meats already washed and prepped. I'll be using some cow foot or cow heel, some beef shank and some chuck roast beef. If you want to use pork or any other kind of meat, you sure can. I have some authentic Guyanese cast rib here. But if you can't find the authentic kind, use whatever you have available to you. I have some fresh green seasoning. I'll show you how I prepare it in just a minute. I have some salt, all-purpose seasoning, black pepper, brown sugar. For the spices, I have some orange peel, clove, cinnamon, star anise, one habanero pepper, and some, um, some thyme. So for my green seasoning I'll be using some garlic onion ginger thyme scallion basil and some uh, habanero pepper what I did was place everything into a blender with a little water just to get everything going and blend to a smooth consistency because you don't want chunks of onions and garlic and stuff in your pepper pot so you want to blend everything until it's nice and smooth when you're done it should be looking like this now let's move on to the next step now to a large pot, I place all my meats and cover with some water. We're going to boil this for about 15 to 20 minutes, you know, just to remove all the impurities from the meats before we actually get started. We want our sauce to be nice and clear and clean and not, you know, with all this yucky griminess at the top here. You don't want that in your sauce. So we're going to drain this off, wash the meat real well, and set it aside. So now to my crock pot or slow cooker, I will add some hot water. This is just to get things going a bit faster and we will start to add the rest of our ingredients you want to create that nice rich sauce first before you start adding the meat the meat is the last thing we will add in here this is just a different method so bear with me so once we add our seasoning we will go in with you know the green seasoning we will add our um uh or sugar you want to add your cas rib and all that good stuff in here and what you want to do is mix really well to combine. And you can add cast rib to suit your preference. However dark or light you want your, um, your pepper pot, you add cast rib to suit your own preference. And everything here is edible. So what I like to do is once I've added all the ingredients and created that sauce, I go in and taste it first and make sure that it's good before I add my meats. So you want to mix this until it's very well combined, taste it, make sure it suits your preference and then we're going to start adding our meats. Once I tasted this, it felt like it needed a bit more flavoring so I added some more salt and all-purpose seasoning and it was perfect. And like I said, once it's good, you start adding your meats. I like to add all the toughest meats first at the bottom and I add the, you know, the uh, the meats that's more softer at the top. So once all my meats are added and they're coated in that rich sauce, what I like to do is cover this and put it on high and allow it to get going first. 
and once it starts going I like to reduce the heat to low and I allow this to go overnight it was like 10 o'clock when I first started this and once I went to bed it was 11 o'clock and when I woke up in the morning it was like 6 o'clock this is me just checking it once I woke up and let me tell you all the meat was nice and tender you know basically falling off the bone and this was just perfectly cooked I will not lie it was delicious but not as delicious as my other methods of pepper pot like when I actually boil it on the stove top and stuff you know that version in my opinion is the best i don't know if it's because i use very limited ingredients here and it wasn't seasoned the way i usually season my other pepper pot recipes but yeah it was still delicious if you like a more simple version this is the one for you i hope you all give the recipe a try and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment down below I will leave all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and as always, enjoy.